Good morning, everybody. Today we're gonna to be doing our essentials for our day pack and going on a two mile hike, so stay tuned for that. We got wipes and tissues for our bathroom kit, extra pair of socks if our feet get wet. We have our rain jacket and rain pants in case it starts downpouring. Dry fit shorts in case it gets hot out. Dry fit shirt to keep us cool on a hot hike. Hat to protect our head from the sun. Sunscreen to protect our skin. Bug spray for the bugs. A flashlight in case it gets dark out. A lighter for a fire. A face mask to protect ourselves. Our bug net to protect us from bugs in case we need to take shelter. Our personal first aid kit. Hiking shoes so we can walk safe. Our compass for navigation. Emergency poncho in case it starts down pointing fairly quick. Two strap backpack with a whistle on it. Garbage bag to waterproof our day pack. And we are going to be putting all of our stuff in here. We're gonna take the air out of it and put it into our double strap backpack. So stay tuned for that. One liter water bottle so we can stay hydrated and a snack on our two mile hike. Sunglasses to protect our eyes. Insulating fleece layer in case it gets cold. Voila, day pack is waterproofed. Make sure you get the air out and then push your garbage bag with all your stuff into the big compartment of your two strap book bag. So we got the map here. Today we're gonna to be doing the yellow trail, which is about 2.6 miles. And yeah, I don't see any signs for ticks, so it looks like we won't have to wear our pants or our high socks today on this hike. Another important thing, since we're on the yellow trail, we are going to follow these markers, which are right here on the key as well. So these will keep us on the right path as we go around. Also, my mother has my location, so in case anything goes wrong, she knows where I'm at. So it's really important you have your location on or somebody knows where you're at in case of an emergency. Yellow and blue trail markers to show we're going on the right path. Although it was a tick-free area, it's also very important that you check your entire body for anything that could have bitten you or if any ticks are in any like dark, moist areas on your body. Uh, for spots that you can't see, make sure you have a loved one like that's able to check your back and make sure you're all clean. But yeah, that hike was great. 2.3 miles, I think, done. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. So 